Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Improve Also, back with another NBA 2K17 video. But today is not like a usual video. Today, I want to talk about something that has came to my attention. You guys read the title. You guys saw the thumbnail. The question of the day, is cheese ruining 2K? Now, first, let's start off. What is cheese? If I had to sum up the word cheese as a definition, I would say cheese is something very effective or very hard to stop. When people cannot stop something, they get frustrated. And when they get frustrated, they start saying things like, all you can do is cheese. So now that we got that out of the way, now let's actually talk about cheese in 2K, 2K in general. Let's start with 2K15, guys. I'm going to say a lot of information, so keep up with me. In NBA 2K15, the cheese in that game was considered the demigod. If you don't know what a demigod is, it was pretty much a small forward that was maxed out in height with maxed out handles, maxed out jump shot. And the reason that they called that cheese is because in NBA 2K15, that was the first time that the park was actually introduced into 2K. They did not have all the mechanics set up correctly. So you in that game in NBA 2K15, you can actually pull up from half courts and get wide open green releases. The, the cheese I was considering in NBA 2K15 was the side to side cheese. There was no speed boosting cheese in that game. But there was something called the side to side cheese. It was where you just keep on dribbling side to side and eventually your opponent would fall for it because it is so hard to guard. And with a combination of being a small forward maxed out and high with crazy handles and a crazy jump shot that could get posterizers, that was considered a demigod in NBA 2K15 with maxed out length on their arms. Just picture Yao Ming with the abilities of Steph Curry out there in 2K15. Now with NBA 2K16, the cheese that was in NBA 2K16, this 2K that we're currently playing right now, the cheese that was first considered at the park was speed boosting. If you did not, if you didn't know how to speed boost, you actually went up against these these speed boosters at the park you would consider it cheese right because it's hard to guard you don't know how to do it etc and then after they got rid of speed boosting after the patch six i believe came out they get they got rid of speed boosting so they introduced or we got introduced to the steph curry hop step that was the next cheese after the speed boosting was eliminated from nba 2k16 but what I'm saying is, even if there is cheese in, in, a, in a video game in general, because NBA 2K is not the only thing that has cheese in it. Let's talk about Madden for a second. Well, I, I play Madden, okay? I'm sure most of my audience has probably not played Madden, but I'm going to just say something really quick. In Madden, there's something called face catching, where you can have the best overall cornerback, a 99 golden ticket Deion Sanders, for example, versus a base elite Calvin Johnson. Now, if you have not played Madden, you would not know what the hell that means. Pretty much a rare, extremely rare player in Deion Sanders versus a 86 overall Calvin Johnson. You would think Deion Sanders would dominate Calvin Johnson because it's 99 versus a 86. But since Calvin Johnson is so damn tall, so strong, and can jump high, dude is 6'5". All you have to do is send Calvin Johnson deep, throw it up to him, and he's going to come down with the ball most of the time. It's not a glitch. They consider that cheese face catching cheese in Madden. Madden devs cannot fix it because it's just something in the game. Not only that, but Madden has, has uh, nano blitzes where you pretty much just snap the ball and the opponent has already sacked you right after you snapped it. What I'm trying to get you guys to understand is that cheese is in a lot of these games, okay? We already know that NBA 2K17 will have cheese in it. There is no way that there is not going to be. There, always, there, there will always be cheese in NBA 2K. If there isn't cheese in their game, is just going to be dead. It's going to be like NBA Live. But once us YouTubers, I'm not even considering myself a YouTuber, still new at this stuff, just keeping it real. But once we find the new cheese, so yeah, they're eventually going to patch that cheese like they did with speed boosting. But eventually someone else is going to find a new cheese and we're just going to repeat the cycle, guys. 2K will patch the cheese moves and then new cheese moves will emerge after that and then they'll patch those and then new ones are going to emerge after that. It's just a cycle that always happens and it will continue to happen. Honestly, if you want my opinion, it's just childish. It's just a video game, damn. <laughs> but let me know your opinion on all this in the comment section below. And as always, guys, it has been your boy, Emperor Mufasa. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It means so much. Please don't forget to hit that like button for your boy. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.